hello everyone and welcome back to another video so my background has changed a little bit i'm not really happy with how it's looking like i'm happy with it but i'm too close to it so you can't really see it so this might be quite temporary this might change by my next video i'm gonna mess around with it later on and see how we get on but i actually need to head out so today i'm gonna show you guys how i've been doing my 2023 everyday makeup tutorial this is a very natural very everyday plain makeup there's literally nothing on the eyes just mascara i don't even wear foundation but i thought i would show you guys what i've been using as i seem to have been getting quite a few compliments on my makeup so i'm gonna show you guys how i create that today so we're just gonna jump straight on in with today's video i feel really distracted because i've not filmed a video in ages like where i've actually spoke yeah if i get a bit distracted i'm really sorry and i may also just clip my hair back just so it's out the way because otherwise it's gonna get my face usually i would start off with my brows but i'm running out of my anastasia beverly hills brow freeze and i really don't have the money to replace it at the moment so i'm just gonna skip my brows i've just been brushing them in place usually as i said i would use my brow freeze but i've not been so to begin with i've already done my skincare by the way so spf moisturizer eye creams all that sort of thing already on i'm gonna take my charlotte tilbury flawless filter this is in the shade two which is light and i just apply this to my cheekbones my chin cupid's bow tip of my nose also like a little bit down my nose as well and on my forehead and i'm just taking a silk finish brush and just blending that out whatever's left over or any excess i kind of blend out on the rest of my skin as well so i won't just keep it concentrated to them areas kind of blend it a bit everywhere to be honest you can also blend this in with a sponge, with your fingers, whatever you prefer. Next up, I'm going to go in with concealer. So I'm taking the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C4. And then also the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade so i'm gonna start off with the revolution one i'm just gonna pop this under my eyes about to run out <laughs> everything's running out my chin a little bit of my nose my forehead just for a bit of coverage and then god literally this is like i had to pull the little plastic thing up the other day put a little bit on my cheeks as well just to help with some extra coverage then just take the same brush the same zoeva silk finish brush so with your concealer you just want to find one that's as closest to your skin tone as possible so that's why i use the revolution conceal and define concealer on my like entire face just because it is the closest to my skin tone and then i'm going to use the other concealer just to brighten up under my eyes in a minute I haven't filmed a chai video in ages because they've been doing loads of work on our building and it's been so loud it's unreal and there's all scaffolding up and sometimes like you would see people walking past on the scaffold when they're first putting it up and it really put me off doing chai videos because all you could hear was them making so much noise but they seem to be being very quiet recently they must be on the other side of the building but i'm not going to complain because honestly it's been so loud i know they have to do their job but they would literally be shouting at each other i can't hear them today so i thought it was a perfect opportunity to film a really quick chatty video next up i'm taking the maybelline fit me concealer i'm gonna pop a little bit of this on my under eyes just to brighten up my under eyes because they really need it at the moment and i'm going to use a concealer brush this is a morphe m428 brush i'm just going to pat that in making sure that i'm getting my inner corner as well because i have a lot of darkness there bags under my eyes at the moment are so bad they're really dry and they're really dark at the moment i haven't really been drinking enough water and i've been really tired as well if you guys are subscribed to my vlog channel i'm going to be uploading a vlog today and i kind of explain why i've not been uploading over on my vlog channel because i've been so poorly for the past god since christmas i just seem to have been getting so ill the same with matt we just kept getting ill but now we're starting to finally feel so much better i'm so tired so i don't think that's helping either so i do need that little bit of extra coverage and then just going in with a sponge and just making sure that everything's blended really nicely gonna see if i need any extra coverage anywhere as well it's like around my nose here looks a little bit red so i'm just gonna pop a little bit here i forgot how nice and creamy this concealer was and i started using it the other day and i was like oh my god i forgot how beautiful this concealer is so i'm just gonna finish up with my cream products so next up i'm taking the master contour v-stick 
from Maybelline and I only ever use the contour side because the other side is too dark for me. I'm going to go in with this brush here. This is actually from Model Zone. I don't think they're a brand anymore. I think they've dissolved. I'm not sure. This is meant to be a foundation brush. I don't know how this is a foundation brush but I might judge what the name of the brush is. I'm just going to take some here on the brush i'm just gonna apply this to my cheekbone that's on i'm gonna blend this out with my sponge i really like this cream contour i also really like the smashbox cream contour trio but i don't know whether they still do that anymore i know they definitely still do the powder which is such a shame because i think they should bring them back i don't even know if you can buy smashbox anymore in the uk because i know they got rid of their website was it their website that they got rid of i can't really remember so i don't know whether they've been pulled from stores because i know boots had some smashbox in for powder i'm gonna go in with the rimmel stay matte powder in the shade 01 transparent so what i do is i get my brush and i'm just gonna scrape some of the translucent powder so it makes a fine powder more than a pressed powder i'm literally spilling this all over my clothes and i'm wearing black erin scott used to do that and i started to try it and it honestly is so good and then i'm just gonna make sure that i've got no creases in my concealer and then i'm gonna set that first so i'm just taking this really small brush this is the setting brush from real techniques sorry i'm gonna have to get really close to my mirror so i don't get set and powder everywhere and i'm just gonna pat that loose powder that we've just made oh my god i'm literally covered in it i'm popping that all over my under eyes and then any excess on the brush on my lid as well i'm just gonna let that sit for a minute whilst i'm letting that sit i'm gonna get a real techniques sponge and i take the flat end and i'm gonna dab that into all that pressed powder that we've just made and i'm just gonna carve out like bake a bit of a more snatched contour this is a really nice powder by the way if anyone's never used it really affordable so i'm gonna do that again Right, whilst I'm letting that sit, I'm just going to go onto my eyes and dust off any of that excess. And then for this bit, I'm just going to swipe that off, like so. And then I'm just going to go into the powder again and just go anywhere else where it is needed. For bronzer, I'm going to take the Hoola Benefit bronzer. So I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones a little bit on my temple as well and then i'm gonna run a little bit through the crease of my eyes and run a little bit on my forehead and then i'm just gonna do the same on the other side to finish off my base i'm gonna go in with the benefit dandelion blush and i use this as like a blush slash highlighter because it has got a really fine shimmer to it so it acts as both quite nicely and for every day it's just really nice so i'm just using a blush brush from real techniques i'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and then blending this up towards my hairline and then also on my cheekbones so that's going to help create that little bit of highlight as it's a shimmery blush it's such a beautiful color as well my skin has been really dry recently so i'm gonna go in with the mario badescu facial spray i don't use this as a setting spray because it's not made to set it's more of like a hydrating facial mist so that's what i'm gonna use this for right now and it's a really good way just to help hydrate your skin i'm just gonna pat that in so my mascara kind of changes, just whatever I pick out of my drawer first. Today was the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit. It seems to be very Benefit heavy today, but I mean, I'm not angry about that. I'm just going to apply this to my upper and lower lashes. Oh, I've just got mascara all over my face. So I'm just going to let any mascara that I've accidentally got on my eyelid or on my face, because clearly i can't apply mascara today just gonna let that dry and then i'm just gonna pick that off with a spoolie in a little bit so we're gonna move on to lips now and i'm taking this very sad lip liner this is actually from primark and i think it's in the shade rosewood yeah it was rosewood i always remembered it because it made me think of pretty little liars so you can use whatever lip color you want but i find that i suit this sort of lip color so it's the one that i wear the most This lipstick has been one of my favourites for years and I've been through so many bullets of this 
lipstick it's insane this is from rimmel and it is the moisture renew lipstick in the shade 380 vintage pink how beautiful is that color it's so nice and it feels so hydrating as well you need to get off that mascara that i've got everywhere so if you let it dry and then go in with a clean spoolie it like flakes off i really need to stop spinning this chair i feel like it's such a novelty because i don't usually have a chair to spin on i have to like sit in a chair that just doesn't move so this one's quite nice because i can like just move freely do you know what i mean it's quite it's quite exciting probably gonna make you guys feel very sick so i do apologize and here we have the finished makeup look as i said it's very natural just a super natural everyday makeup look you can literally just mix up the lip color or you could add eyeshadow you could add a wing liner add foundation on top of it but this is just what i do for every day when i'm just going to work or if i'm rushing around doing some errands and i just want a little bit of makeup on my face if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you all in my next video bye everyone